the legendary programs in the history of college basketball. St. John's top 10 all-time wins and winning percentage. These guys have bought in to what Chris is trying to do, build a culture. The style, the identity, the culture that Chris Mullen, Mitch Richmond, and Greg St. Jean are all trying to create here for this Red Storm team is coming to fruition. The Big Apple, folks, New York City, and welcome to the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Looking at New York City on a perfect night to come inside the garden, and what better spot for Big East basketball? You love the garden. I do. When you want to do well, you might as well do it in New York. The mecca of basketball, Madison Square Garden. An exciting night here at Karnaseka Arena. The campus of St. John's, Karnaseka Arena, it holds 5,600, and there may be 5,600 in this place. Building that seats just a little more than 5,000. That is jam-packed ready for this one. I've never played in this building, but I would have loved to play in an atmosphere like this. Fans are right on top of you. It's the crowd and the support that this program is receiving in Chris Mullins' first year is really Number impressive. Number 20 is back in Queens. A legend returns home. Well, it's great to see him back up. Brooklyn's on. Now, the difference between Chris Mullen and some other players that become coaches is that Mully loves the gym. So who wouldn't want to play for Chris Mullen? You guys just find a guy as you can possibly find. Chris Mullen is back, and he's got his boys playing at a high level. St. John's, they're young, and they're almost like the United Nations of college basketball. They're guys from Spain, France, Mali, Guinea, Italy. Five different starters from five different countries. It's the United Nations starting five for St. John's. Ovika, Seema, yep. Fetty, Johnson, Alabegovich. These guys have got game. St. John's wants to get it out front. They want to drive, draw, kick, and score in transition. And they've demonstrated the ability now to fight back and find a way to get the win. Coach, I thought St. John's played with terrific energy and spirit. Unbelievable effort and sound. Great judgment on the offensive end. Red Storm, they're not messing around. They're hounding, they're hawking, they're running to the basketball, they're diving on the floor. The Red Storm play with life, excitement, energy. The best shot blocking team in the Big East. You got Yakwe and Sima in company. They're unbelievable at blocking shots, keeping it in bounds. This has been fun watching Yakwe and Sima play tonight. Yakwe's ability to block shots, I mean, just he waits until you leave the floor and they can still have the timing to block shots. This guy is such a presence. Let's you get up first. He gets, he's a fast break initiator, a little bit like Bill Russell was. He's got the long arms. He's lanky. Good reaction just then with his timing defensively. Lucini's fun to watch. Yeah. This guy is, and he's not very big, but he's tough. He goes to the rack. Chris Mullins got himself a good looking freshman. Lucini, how about that? Jay John Stockton. And the smallest man on the floor has had the biggest impact for the Red Storm. Federico Lucini. The two kids from Italy knocking it down. Ali Begovic is ready to go. The Italian style. Felix Bound, what a finisher. Jones for Balamo. Balamis. Deron Johnson, never afraid. The transfer can really score. He can get it going in a hurry. This is a statement jam from Deron Johnson. Uvika, graduate transfer from Missouri State, who is a good three-point shooter. Very versatile player. Can post a little bit, can shoot a little bit, drive a little bit. Good teammate. It has been a long time heated rivalry between Georgetown and St. John's in a illustrious history. For anyone that knows anything about Big East basketball, you got to start with these two teams. So much history going back to the Ewing and Mullen days. As a former player, this is what made me want to play in the Big East. <laughs> this series goes all the way back to 1909. It's an old school field as Villanova gets ready to take on St. John's. St. John's Providence, though. This is a series that dates back to 1927. St. John's leads at 59-45. St. John's. Seton Hall, that is jam-packed, ready for this one between a couple of rivals meeting for the 93rd time in series history. Beautiful basketball, St. John's on fire right here. Well, you gotta love what St. John's is doing here. This team, they're playing as a team. The one thing you can't say is that this team doesn't give full maximum effort. They're gonna flock to St. John's because of Chris Mullen, because of New York. Because of this phenomenal university and the opportunities they're going to have there, they believe and they're making me believe. I am St. John's. We blend some other people in, incorporate their talents, and I just think next year is going to be a lot of fun for the St. John's team. 